show on Twitch where you, the viewers, are in control. Featuring special guests from all over the Twitch community and the Los Angeles comedy scene. Enter a variety of wild scenarios with colorful characters and help steer the story in whatever direction you want. You can vote in polls to make choices, submit images over Twitter and Discord. You can pay to play sound effects. Road ends in 100 feet. What the f***? It's your show too, friend. Hop on in and experience everything now. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's me, Socrates Alexandropoulos. I am riding for Hot Car. Good to see y'all again. Walla Walla Man, Abby Sally, Sticky Greg, Theo from Eden, Internet Crow, Sun Bro, Scott, the rest of you. So great to see you all again. Uh, yep, this is Hot Car. I'm driving around, I'm picking up passengers, uh, I'm taking them where they need to go. Uh, mustache is looking extra good tonight. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so if this is your first time watching this one, basically how it works is I'm gonna drive around, I'm gonna pick people up, send them where they need to be. There's a couple ways you at home can uh, interact. We can, of course, um, you can leave me a review if you sub. So these are from when... These are a different driver, but good reviews. So I'd love to get... Oh, thank you, Nuclear Goo. Um, so I'd love to get some, you know, specific to me. Uh, that was Aristotle, he's a great guy. Um, you can also, of course, play something on the radio. If you'd like to request a radio station, we'll play it. That was uh, Grant trying on shorts. Um, so maybe something a little more general, but whatever you'd like to do. Uh, you can drive me off a cliff, you can inject a passenger, and of course we can see what billboards are out and around town. I see one now, actually, we can have a look. Wow, they've made soup for sluts. That's really cool. Finally! That's really cool. That's really good. It's getting really targeting a poor audience there. Um, and uh, of course, midway through, I'll go to the gas station. Um, we'll pick up, uh, I'll, I'll get some more gas and we'll see whatever's on gas station TV. And if we hit 15 subs, we can change uh, my my car paint, right? Yeah, we can change the paint on my car. Um, tons of different options. Last time it was Family Guy car. Who knows what it could be this time. Um, that pretty much covers it. Any questions? Um, otherwise, I think we will we'll just hop into it. I'll just pick up some passengers. We got uh, a driver review. Oh, we already got a review. Okay, great. Let's take a look here. Driver talked to me the whole time and didn't even have his hands on the wheel. Five out of five stars. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm good at what I do. What can I say? All right. Um, hot car, hot car. Yep. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Good. You okay? Yeah, I'm great. I'm fine. Okay. I'm can a... you just start driving really, really fast? Yeah, I kind of go one speed, but yeah, I'll try to pick it up. Okay, are we on the move? Yeah. What's up? Oof. Cool. Why were you covering your face? I'm kind of a public figure these days, so I'm trying oh, to. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm uh, embarrassed. I don't actually recognize you. Oh, that's actually honestly for the for the best. I prefer to be hanging out with people who don't recognize me, because that means I'm not surrounded by like twelve year olds and uh, really weird old people and whatnot. You're. What's this? We're part of the... the 60th annual Now York Cure Cancer Fun Marathon, sponsored by Ellen Bogan Bullets. Yeah. Okay. So you're doing like a charity run? I am. I am doing a charity run. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a TikTok guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't have TikTok. Whew! Yeah. Good. All right, cool. I'm Zeke Screams. Zeke Screams. Yeah. That's really cool, man. What are you... Um, Thanks. Trying to think of what people are famous on TikTok for. Do you dance? Not really. Sometimes I do. Um, mostly it's like pointing at like where I put text and whatnot. Okay. And then like a song comes up and I'm just kind of like... And the text just says like... It's informational. I mostly, okay. I, do, I dabble in infotainment. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Do you have to, this is always something I'm curious about. Do you have to like know 
the things you're talking about or can you just post a thing and just point to it? Usually I just get scripts. Okay. Um, I have a writer's room of about 74 people. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, the guys who created Friends were in there too. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Marta Kaufman. Yeah, I'd assume they're all like in their late they must be like 60s now, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. They're smart. They're, they're Because they're old, they're smart. That's kind of what I've, I've learned over the years. Damn. So I noticed you, you kind of loaded yourself into my car like you were a, a member of the Beatles and you had, you had your head covered and stuff. Mm -hmm. So are people kind of like actively after you or anything? Oh, shit. Hold on. I don't think we're being followed. We're good. No, there's a... Uh, well, last uh, hot car I got, there was a nine-year-old who was hanging onto the bumper. Oh, God. Um, Okay. And she was getting like smashed into the road because we were going through a bunch of speed bumps really Ooh. fast and I had to pay her hospital bill. So just Well that's uh, nice of you. Yeah, I mean why not? I don't mind. It's just uh these kids don't know no better, you know. Yeah, I hear you. So where am I taking am I just bringing you home? Finish or? line. Oh, okay. Finish line of the So you're, uh, you're the currently marathon. running the marathon. I'm in the middle of running the marathon. Got yeah. it, got it. I'm supposed to win first place, so I can then you know, do a speech when I get there. Inspire some kids, hmm. you know. Someone's, if I don't, someone's if, saying we kind of look like brothers. Oh shit! Oh, there's one. I kind of see it. Yeah, absolutely. So I take it you're full blown Filipino, also. No, no, I'm half Greek, half Armenian. Got it. Um, yeah. Got it. Fun mix. Yeah, yeah. It's. It's, they're pretty close to each other, but it's, yeah. it's a pretty fun mix. You ever had uh, Zatar? Za, 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 yeah. Yes. That's yeah. great. I actually had it today. Nice. Funny enough. Cool. Yeah, I love Zatar. Za, 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 Don't overthink it. You got it. Zatar. Yeah. Got Perfect. It. Cool. Uh, all right. Well, yeah, I guess I'll just take you to the edge with the... What's that? I got to do some TikToks. Okay. You okay with that? Yep. Don't mind me. Okay. I'm just driving. Hey guys, did you know that French toast is actually when you mix egg and you put bread in egg and then you put bread in the pan and you put pan on fire and then you have French toast. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to learn more information. Just real quick, sorry, I have a billboard I wanted to check okay. out. Right. Wow, what is, is that Vegeta with a big ass? Is yeah, that what I'm seeing? With a, with a fucking thick three-tiered cake and are they selling that there's no information about where to buy it hope so it's at the next exit oh okay i guess there's like a roadside stand that's going to be selling sexy dragon ball z stuff i should be selling that shit okay hey i noticed in that tiktok you said you light the pan on fire and that's how you make french toast mm -hmm. um well yeah i mean like you put pan on fire it get hot and then whatever is in pan cook so I guess that's kind of right. Do, do you, those get a lot of engagement, those TikToks? Yeah, usually. This one's at 92 billion. Wow. My God. Yeah. That's it just so many more times too. the population of the Earth. It just uploaded also. That's wild, man. Yeah. It's incredible how little effort you seem to put into that. I got nominated for a Nemi. An Emmy? Like a... A Nemi. Oh, a Nemi? What's a yeah. Nemi? They're kind of like the Emmys. Okay. I don't know why they're called the Nemmys. Oh, okay. There's just an N there. An Emmy's not short. Is, is that an abbreviation? Like, this is E-M-M-Y? Does that stand? No. I don't know, but that would make for a good talk. So okay. Going You're to, just going to say it is? Just going to look that up. Let's see. What does Emmys stand for? Do you know any fun information, like fun facts? Uh, I don't know. That's so broad. It's really hard for me to, to speak on that. Do I know just fun information? Yeah, anything. You know, kids want to learn. They want to learn these days. People watch like nine hour video essays and TikToks that teach them cool new things like how to make French toast or how water's made. Uh, I actually stuff. just saw a thing about uh, cracking eggs. Okay. That it's better to crack an egg on a flat surface. A lot of people think you break it on the side of the pan. Yeah. But if you crack it on a flat surface, it'll actually break apart easier and you have a less chance of the, the little bits of the shell going in the pan. No way. Review. Oh, hang on. I have another, I just got to check my reviews while driving really quick. A plus the stash really sells this for being the bang beetle. What is that? 
Maybe like maybe like a like bang bus, but you're in a beetle. Ah, okay. And I'm not that. I'm not gonna have. Sex I should with just you. mention. Yeah. And you're not. I'm not. That's not what this is. It's that's fine. not what this it's is. Fine. I just want to be clear about not that. Not offended. It's fine. Okay. Cool. Hold on. So, um, tell me again what you just said about the egg thing. If you crack an egg like on a flat surface, uh -huh. are you filming me talking about this? I'm filming my reaction to oh, it. Oh, okay. If you crack an egg on a flat surface, mm -hmm. it'll break apart easier, and you have a less chance of the shells falling into the thing you're cooking. Still going? Okay. Whoa, why? Okay. It looked like you were sad at the end. Really? You put a gun to your head. Oh, no, that was, you know, kind of like, I don't know, like, you know, like, like, like the Beastie Boys would do that and stuff. Oh, you know, okay. like cool stuff. And are you going to be playing, like, um, music over? Is it going to be like, what's that, the, like, yeah, that one's gonna okay. play. Yeah, uh, any any of the TikTok songs, honestly. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. I've heard that one. No, 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 Those TikToks like posted onto Twitter. I've seen that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, another egg thing I know. I don't know. I I don't know why I thought egg facts were fun, but that's kind of where my head's going. I mean, now. I was talking about French toast earlier, so yeah. that kind of makes sense. Well. If, if by chance, some of the shell gets in the thing, uh -huh. you can, um, thank you very much. Um, you can take the half of a shell, right? So let's say you cracked your egg. Okay. And now there's a little piece of shell inside your like bowl or something if you're making scrambled eggs. Right, Take yeah. half the shell and you can scoop the, the shell piece out easier with the shell. Because for some reason the shell, like it, it's better than using like a spoon or something. Because I guess it's like sharper. Okay, your mid reaction video. Okay. Okay, you're doing a lot of suicidal stuff right now. Okay. I don't know what that word means. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to explain it. Um, I'm, I, I love learning, so, you know, I'm okay with it, honestly. Okay. Uh, thank you for all the egg stuff. Seems like you got another <laughs> review. I, I think, yeah, I think we're loading yeah, that up. we're working on it. That's cool. There's a lot going on right now. There's no worries. On, apparently. I, I just have a feeling it's a positive review. I hope it is. I think we got something on the radio first, though. Let me listen in on this. The what? Wow, you are really sheltered. Okay. Um, it's just like a, okay, I don't know how to explain or... It's, it's very hard to explain the concept of the radio in a short amount of time. It's that fine. I think about it. But also, thank you for all these egg facts. I'm going to tell my slaves to. Okay, look these I didn't things. hear that. Let's oh my God. The radio. I am so sorry. Mates. <laughs> and welcome back to Now York News. We're covering the WA strike here, uh, specifically related to the local TikTokers writers' room. Writers for local TikTokers are struggling right now. Uh, to stay out of the writer's room because they have so many good ideas. So many good ideas for, oh gosh, what was that guy's name? The guy who's running the the marathon right now? Such an inspiration. <laughs> They've got a lot Zeke of... Zeke Screams, I think? I think it was Zeke Scrimes or something. Sure. Zock, Zon, Z, Zeem Screens. Anyway, real bright kid. They're all very excited about him, really ready to get back into the room and write him some awesome front-facing camera videos. Uh, so let's hope that strike ends soon and those writers get paid a fair wage. Anyway, folks, back to sport. So all those friends writers walked out on you, huh? Driver, really? Pull over now. Oh, no. Stopped. And then I got to check my reviews. There's a lot happening. Um, you been following this WGA thing? No, I, I, I don't you. know what those letters mean. Oh, okay. I tell you, I I really support. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I really support the writers. I hope people go in there and write those scripts while they're out on the picket line. Give them a break. Yeah. Give them a rest. Let them do their work. Go write some scripts on their behalf. Put your hands where we can see them. Thank you. Writers deserve to have a good time. Yeah. Especially when they're working on projects like my. Hey there. Hello. Stop. Hey. hey. Come up. Come up as close as you can. You mean like <laughs> lean your head hey into the? Okay. The... Gun out immediately. Hi. Hi. Now I saw someone in here with an official bib for the Nor now York City Marathon. 
That's that's Zyke here, yeah. Yeah, uh, you wouldn't be trying to take a shortcut to the to the finish line now, would you? Because that's illegal. What? No, I would never do such a thing. This is actually I'm cosplaying as my favorite TikToker who's running the marathon. His name is Zeke Screams, and here he's really sexy and cool. Wait. That just, there's so much information there that I can't quite get through that. That seems like, I don't really know what TikTok is and... Oh, well then you're doomed. I feel like that, if that, if you don't know what TikTok is, then it's not going to work out. Why is there so much, you young people have so much I'm meta, like layers and layers of stuff, satirizing things and I'm whatnot. Sure. You got it. if you're trying to run the marathon, all I'm going to say is, if you try to get this guy to the finish line... If you try to get this yeah, guy yeah, to yeah. the finish line uh -huh. and drop him off, he will be disqualified and arrested and promptly put into the slammer. Okay. Whoa. And is there a reason you're pointing your gun at both of us right now? Yeah, because this is a very serious crime. There's a lot of money at stake. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. The now York City Marathon is worth millions and millions of dollars. Wow. That is shocking. And if you're trying to... This, the city budget is low I, uh, right I now. Know. We yeah. put all... Of our money in the winner of the New Now York City Marathon. Okay, I will okay. make sure that that this cosplayer does not uh, does not win the race. Okay, I'll be watching you. All right. All right. Thank Thanks, you, officer. Sir. Okay. Now, I. S Bye. Okay. <laughs> Felt like he had something he wanted to say at the Oof. end. <laughs> yeah, he should have just run it by us. It's yeah. We got some more reviews. All right, hang on. We're getting more reviews. I'm just gonna check these while driving. Sure. Five out of five, fast and friendly. This review is sponsored by the driver. Okay. Driver ran over my foot, but I was too mesmerized by his stash to feel the pain. Five stars, 69% tip. Love those. Two winners, in my opinion. That's not fake. What do you mean? Your mustache? The mustache? No, this is real, man. Dang. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank That's you. That's cool as hell. Yeah. Well, look, then I would say don't drop me off directly at the finish line. Drop yeah, me off. Yeah, I feel like the cop... Drop, drop me off at the yard house across the street. Okay. I will. Is that like one of those tavern over. restaurants? Kind like, of. It's like yeah, a yeah. sports bar. Kind Is that of the thing? one where they, they make the waitresses dress like. Oh, hang on. Let me get another billboard. Okay. Yeah, what is that? Oh, a, a DIY guillotine. Wow. wow. That's so cool. I can't wait to get my uh, slaves writing scripts about that one. All right, I noticed you said that again. I don't want to make Oh my god, I'm it. so sorry. Writer's assistance. Okay. We've got another radio station. Wow, okay. <laughs> what going on? You also got raided hey, by 71 people. Thank you, Algo Bro, for the raid. I'm just going to give you a, such a quick little recap here. I'm Socrates. I'm a hot car driver. We're driving around. I'm picking up passengers, taking them where they need to go. So follow and follow along. Uh, right now, I'm going to listen to my radio because we have uh, a new station that people in the chat want to listen to. So let's go ahead and listen in. Went on down to the country market, <laughs> got some big old eggs. I cracked it on the side of my car. Wait, no, that's not a flat surface. <laughs> Every time I crack an egg, I do it down my leg. <laughs> I can't wait to get home with my runny, eggy leg. Wow. Wow, I'm gonna have to duet that. So they must have been, you just posted that egg TikTok. They must have already started making music to capitalize on it. Yeah, That's definitely. incredible. It's huge. They knew it was they gonna take quick. off, yeah. What did he mean he cracks it down his leg? How does that work? You crack it on your knee, and then the egg runs down your leg, like the okay. innards. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, not the, an egg fact I would recommend. It's it's the new like planking, or like damn Daniel kind of wow, thing. Wow, I've, I've accidentally started an internet trend, huh? Yeah. So, congratulations. You have to sign NDA and some other things. Give me your routing number, bank oh, account, oh. social security. Mm. Hey, um, I think we're we're nearing the yard. My mom's there, fingerprint. Actually. Oh, okay. Hang on. Um, Your mom's toe print, actually. I don't have that. Right big toe. I don't have that handy. Right big toe? No, mom's right big toe? I don't have any of my mom's... You can just call your mom right now and just get me that. Hang on, there's another billboard here. Okay. Uh, oh, cool! A single, a single pickle slice? Yeah! Is that a single pickle slice on a plastic fork? Above a rug or something. And that is also available at the next exit. Wow. 
another, I guess that's another roadside stand where they're selling you individual pickle slices. Technology's so crazy these days. Did you know that there's a pickle on a fork that you can buy? What? Stay tuned for more. Like, comment, and subscribe. I don't know if that's a technology thing, but okay. Anyway, this is the yard house. Um, How would they get the pickle on the fork though, you know? Okay, that's fair. Um, don't, don't let anyone know that I, you know, helped you get to the front, because I do think that cop will shoot me if he Oh, he out. will, and if he doesn't, then, you know, public execution for sure. Okay. Well, for sure. so then please try to hang out in the yard house for a couple minutes or something. Yeah, I'm going to get your glasses. I'm going to get some Wisconsin cheese curds. Okay. Hey, uh, what's your name? Socrates. Socrates? Yeah. Cool. What's your last name? Alexandropoulos. Why mm -hmm. are you filming me? Just alibi. See you later. Okay. We got two more reviews. All right. Car kind of smelled like jizz. Okay. Not, not me. Egg facts off the chart. Six out of five. Mind blown. All right. By the way, thanks so much, man. This is going to be worth millions. So Why? go ahead and keep that. Okay. Hold on is to this that. my tip? Yep. Okay. Sponsored by Bullets. Um, I feel like I am both in danger and also uh, internet famous all of a sudden through that ride. Well, one successful ride done. Uh, Hot car! Oh, I got another one. Hey, yeah, hi. Hey, hey, how's it going? Good, hey, good, hey, how hey. are you? How good, are you? Good, good, yeah. Hey, uh, can I have access to your ox? Yeah, <laughs> um, sure. Yeah, cool, thank you. Okay, uh, what is that? TV. Okay, you're gonna. I don't. You got AC, DC power here? Can I plug I, in? Would I, I'm not like super tech savvy. Okay, so that sounds good. Okay, okay. thank you. Just, just gotta watch. watch the Cheers finale. The Cheers finale. Isn't that de decades old? Oh, yeah, right? it's, it's okay. like 33 years old. I watch it every Saturday. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Woody's running for city council. <laughs> is that really what the season finale, the series finale? It's how it starts. <laughs> wow. Spoilers, yeah. Man. Isn't he like, okay, I, I will admit I've only seen like the first three seasons. He's like the he, dumb guy on the show, He's the right? aggressively dumb guy who is dumber than the dumb guy who dies. Yeah, okay. that's right. You should really catch up. You know, you can watch the finale with me every Saturday. Okay. Um, where am I taking you, by the oh, way? Just drive me around while I watch. It's oh, around okay. 92 minutes without commercials, but Guess what? This is a copy with commercials, so I will just wow. be watching it for two hours. Okay. Yeah. Full two hours. Oh, uh, theme song. Around. Gonna do the theme song thing. What's the theme song thing? <laughs> One sec. Hold on. Okay. Uh, that's right. You gotta go where everybody you knows your name. Did you bring a beer into my car? <laughs> yeah. Okay. How else would you watch the Cheers finale? <laughs> Man, TV used to be so good. Now it's all your kids and your wife saying, Let me use the Roku. Let me use the Roku. I want to watch something on Crackle. That's now owned by Chicken Soup for the Soul hey, Entertainment. Hey, I'm so sorry. I'd love to talk about that. But um, just so sorry. Good luck with the rest of Cheers, though. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, oh, we got a funny billboard ahead of you. Oh, we got a billboard. My first prescription. Oh, like children's pills. Okay. Gotta start like, them young. Just yeah. like mommies. Similarly, I believe that's a roadside stand selling my first prescription. I'm kind of bummed because I wanted to watch that episode of Cheers. Um, and I think that guy was clearly having trouble at home. Um, would love to have talked to him about that. Um, oh, we got another one. Is everyone's children saying they want to watch Crackle? Oh, fantastic. My first Hi. hot car. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm not bad. Where am I taking you? Taking me to the Philadelphia Bell of Independence. What is it called? Uh, the Liberty Bell? <laughs> the Liberty Bell, okay. yes! Yeah, uh, I can try to get you close to there for I sure. I have to get there before Nicolas Cage gets there. Oh, the actor? What? Nicolas Cage, the, the film actor? <laughs> the one who's trying to steal my declaration? Oh, okay, are you... Hmm, are you... What's your name? What is your name? I'm Socrates. Okay, fine. Tit for tat. My name is Evolution. Evolution? Yes. Okay. And Nicholas Cage. Okay. So 
I'll take you to Liberty. Um, I am definitely from this time zone. Okay. Definitely and I from here. I didn't say you weren't. And also, t by time zone, you mean like Eastern Standard? The present day. Oh, okay. So time. But I have to tell you, I freaking love these Motorola razors. Yeah, yeah, those are awesome. Hang on, I'm getting, a, I gotta read my reviews while driving really quick. Fantastic. Uh, I've seen Socrates on the internet. 10 out of 10 support. Okay. Yeah, I'm already TikTok famous, it seems like. And then I'm just, there's something on the radio I wanted to listen to really quick, if you don't mind. No problem at all, I'm listening to my voicemails. Okay, just gonna, while you're on those two Motorola razors. Are you tired of bullets that kill? I think we all are. Well, thankfully here at Ellen Bogan Bullets, We've got a solution. Each bullet in Ellen Bogan Bullets feels like a little kiss. Just a cute little kiss. You shoot it out now, it, co it comes out of a normal gun. Glock, AK-47, one of the other ones. But instead of doing a, doing a kill on somebody, why not just a little, just a little smooch? Just a cute little kiss. That's what we promise here at Ellen Bogan Bullet. So come on down and shoot your loved one in the face with an Ellen Bogan Bullet. Every kiss begins with a gun. That's actually nice. That's really beautiful. Yeah, that's really sweet to just give your loved one a kiss via shooting them in the face. I've always felt kind of mixed about the fact that I put that Second Amendment in there, but. Okay, the so like I that. noticed you said you put that Second Amendment in there. <laughs> So we in this current time zone, the current time zone period. Yes, we didn't write the Second Amendment or the Declaration of any of that. So I need to just understand in this car uh -huh. that we're all on the same side for democracy. Okay, I am. We're all on the same I'm side for freedom, democracy. for America, for opera glasses. When you when you start to do the freedom in America stuff, it makes me a little scared that it, then you're going to have a certain political opinion. But generally, I'm all on board with all that stuff. Lucky for you, I kind of didn't have many opinions. I ate too much wheat raw. Oh, My brain okay. kind of went. <laughs> that happens to me sometimes. Clapping. Uh, it's just my car. My car makes all these weird noises. I take it into the shop and they always just paint it. I did get out. some uh, disturbing news on my Motorola razors. Okay. Uh, Nicholas Cage has already gotten to Liberty Bell, saw that it was cracked, mm -hmm. and then um, is now at the Washington Monument. Do you mind if we make a detour? Uh, so instead of going to Liberty Bell, we have to go to the Washington Monument now? Are those far away from each other? Uh, yeah, but I guess I'm going very far anyway. Hey, um... Why are you in a uh, seemingly a Tom and Jerry-esque race with Nicolas Cage? Well, that's a question that I'd like him to answer. Okay. I don't know how I woke up here. It was sandy, it was spooky, it was watery, it was oceany. And I, I miss my wife, I miss her kids, I miss... And who's your wife? Eleanor. Okay. That's vague. Not Roosevelt, because okay. that would not make sense in my time zone. And when you say my time zone, you're talking about the, now. Now, the present day. Okay. I just feel so comfortable with you. I'm letting on my secret slip. It's why I'm not a very good Nicolas Cage. Okay. Yes. Not a very good Nicolas Cage. Hello. <laughs> oh, yes, Mr. President. No, I'm free. I don't have anything to do right now. Oh, yeah, I can play golf tomorrow. I do have to get this Nicolas Cage guy down. Yeah, I don't know how long I'm gonna be here. The beer is better, that's for sure. And the barley, and the wheats. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting another call. Mr. President. A different president. From a different time zone. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm free. I don't actually know if I'm free. It's 50 years ago? Ah, oh, that's tough, that's tough. The grassy knoll, I don't know. I don't know Are if I can do that. asking you to kill JFK? What? Are they asking you to kill JFK? Yeah, how'd you know? Because Grassy Knoll. Listen, which two presidents were you just on the phone with? Obama okay. and Lyndon B. Johnson. Okay. <laughs> Did I just give away a secret? Obama and LBJ, what a combo. Um, hang on, I gotta read my reviews while driving really quick. Fantastic. Uh, zero out of five, open the ride with, I must ask you a question, but I'll shave it for later. And then I threw up. Okay, I remember that ride. Thought I would try to be fun, didn't work. They threw up immediately. Um, okay, I don't want to accuse you of anything. All right. 
Are you a time traveling forefather of the of, of the United States of America? Yes. Do you want a prize or something? Okay. No, I don't know. I guess I don't know what I. I don't know why I needed to know that, but it was just kind of bothering me. So, if it helps, I'm not. I didn't get a signature. I was sick that day. Oh, that sucks. So I'm not in the history books. That sucks. That's so why I think I'm here. What's no your name? Me. But evolution. Wow. So there was a founding father named Evolution. I know. I was very ahead of my time. Yeah. Damn. That would have been cool. That would have been a cool uh, name to throw in the mix there. It was had... all like James and George and Evolution. And also, you know, the, the idea of Evolution would have been nice to have back then. Yeah, yeah. That probably would have helped for yeah. a lot of things. I um, had this pet fish and I taught it to walk. And I was like, that's Evolution. And then I gave myself the nickname. Interesting. Yeah. So that's where that name comes from. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, this is what the liberal media doesn't tell us. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So, I'm driving you to kill Nicolas Cage? Stop him? Is it a thing where you see him and he's like, ah, oh, rats, and then walks away? Like, what happens? That's something that Nicolas Cage has to decide for us. He has to tell me why I'm here, where my wife is, where her kids are, and then I'll decide if I have to kill him or not. This reminds me of, um... I don't know if you've seen this movie, because I don't know if you... But you know The Fugitive? I love The Fugitive. Yeah. Will you remind me of the entire plot? It's so... Okay. If I, if I have it correct, Harrison Ford's wife is killed by a one-armed man. Okay. And then he goes and hunts him down. And I don't remember much other than that. Okay. But just the idea that you're, like, trying to find Nicholas... It, there's also maybe, like, a memento element to it, where you're kind of like, where am I? What's going on? I do think by the time I see him, our timelines will mix up and I'll have all my memories restored. Okay. Hey, I have a question. Since I'm speaking to a founding father, um, what was the when you, when you did the Second Amendment, yeah. right to bear arms? Yeah. Was the, was that what was kind of the purpose of that? What were you all trying to do? I was talking about giving good hugs. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just making sure everyone felt protected and loved and cared for. But I was kind of. I don't know, everyone kind of made fun of me for having too many emotions. I will say that that is not what happened. If the original purpose was give hugs, that is not how it, that is not how it got interpreted. The guns are giving kisses, aren't they? The now they are, in this one particular town, we're starting kissing bullets, but generally, uh, no, they've gotten much more advanced, and probably the thing we as a, we as a, as a rate, like a human race have advanced the most is, how to kill people with, with explosives and stuff. I've Hang on, there's something on the radio I want to... And we have a breaking news element right now that we're going to be uh, uh, broadcasting to you. There is an escaped convict on, convict on the loose who goes by the name of Evolution. He's wanted for attempted murder. Evolution is wanted for attempted murder. You want to... When you see a little evolution, you want to just kind of lure them into your either car or home <laughs> and, and find a way to kind of cut them off uh, uh, at the knees. You call us up at 911 and we'll come down and get them. <laughs> All right, so that's evolution, and this, is break, this has been Breaking News. Thanks for listening. Wow, that was... Um, what a coincidence. Yeah, that's someone with your exact name. That's crazy. Um, nothing to read into there, I'm sure. From the way they said it, I felt like it was spelled wrong. Yeah, yeah. He oh. also seems so uncertain about himself. I don't know if you caught that. Honestly, I think it sounded a lot like Nicolas Cage. Yeah, it could have maybe... Tried to set a little trap. Yeah, maybe. That could be it. Anyway, I'll just keep driving and keep you in the car. Um, you don't have to keep me in the car. I could get out of the car of my own. Ah, if we're you... not even close to either of those monuments, so why don't we just hang out in the car for a little bit, and I'll, I'll just... I gotta, I gotta just check my phone, and... Do you mind if I just make a call while driving? No, of course not. I'm okay. gonna make two. Okay. Ha ha. I wasn't in a competition with you about who could make the most <laughs> phone calls, but okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Robert Kardashian? Hi, yeah. 911. My lawyer. Your lawyer's Robert Kardashian? From the 90s. I know. I'm Armenian. Anyway, that's not important. Um, yeah, no, I didn't do it. Hey, so I'm in driving with, a, with Evolution, the one who's wanted for attempted murder. I don't know if you want to, for like, I'm on that one long road, the one long road in town. Okay. So you're saying I should just stay in the car? So if you want to just pull us over at some point. Okay, okay. one second. I'm
I'm just on that one long road. We just turned on that one turn. Oh, whoa, look at that bird over oh. there. Oh, I gotta pull over. Oh, such a, ah, shit, who could have foreseen that? Okay, okay. <laughs> pull over. Okay, I did. I did. I did already. Now listen here. Pull over for that guy right there, okay? Listen okay. here. Pull over. Stay I did. Over. I did. We're looking for uh, evolution. Oh, that's crazy. What a cool name. What a cool name. I know. I wonder if they're named after the Ivan Reitman film from the early 2000s. They they stick a bunch of shampoo up a, a, a alien butt. It stars David Duchovny, oh, Duchovny wow. and Julianne Moore. I feel like I've seen that. Thanks. It's, it's kind of mid, but it's like a cult classic. Oh my god, I'm having a crazy... You know when you haven't thought about something since you were like six years old and it just starts hitting you? Totally. Did they have a bunch of weird, gross CGI little alien monsters in that? And That's there's right, one sir. where like the alien's in like a closet? Yeah, they That's wanted right, to sir. do... They wanted to do... Uh, they wanted to do Ghostbusters again, and I, uh, I think they hit. I think they hit. There's a better world where we get all the uh, the evolution sequels. Ethan Soupley's also in it, and he's like <sighs> hot now. That's crazy. I I have such a vivid memory of like watching that with my brother and being right? so disturbed and freaked out by it. Totally. And I guess it was a comedy movie, but as I remember it, it was just such a like a scary, weird movie that I saw when I was seven. Haven't thought about it since. Totally for real. Same here, dude. Uh, anyway, evolution is. Um, Hey, where'd they go? Oh, where'd oh wow! Go? I think uh, they went through the bottom of my car. Well, do you oh. mind? Do you mind if I get a ride real quick? <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. Where's your? You're just leaving your car behind. Yeah. I mean, okay. this is like kind of a, a, a side gig. Uh, Officer, you, where are you going? I, I, I have to go to my real gig. Okay. Uh, what do you do? What's so you're? You a might know cop? me. Yeah. Yeah. You might know me um, from the radio. Uh, are you familiar with a show called Prairie Home Companion? <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, are you? <laughs> That's me. It's me, Garrison Keeler. Wow, Garrison. <laughs> and I have to go to a live performance of The Prairie Home Companion. Garrison, if I recall correctly, you have kind of been canceled, right? Uh, I, I did get Me too uh, <laughs> when that happened, and now I'm crawling my way back and okay. doing a new Prairie Home Companion where Lake Wobegon is a little bit of Lake Woke Be Gone. Okay. <laughs> Boy, the children aren't quite as strong as they once were. You can right. say they've got a bit of the Lutheran touch. Hey, before we get into that, there's a billboard here I want to check out. Wow, Frog Burger? Is that what that is? <laughs> oh, that gives me inspiration for really? the next uh, fun, very funny thing I will do on Prairie Home Companion. Okay, and I The do detective guy detective was eating a frog burger when... The dispatch came through in Lake Wobegon, though these days it's a little bit more like Lake Wokebegon. Guy was on administrative leave for pinching a person in the keister. He, back in his day, that's how you let someone know that they were promoted. So, just, it seems like the central thesis of your reboot is calling it Lake Wokebegon. Is oh, that right? you've picked up on one of the subtleties, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's, yes, it's yes. pretty subtle. Um, the uh, woke mind virus uh, infects uh, Lake Woke Be Gone. Yeah. I'm and nowadays it's a little bit more like Lake Woke Be Gone. I, I'm not super. Is that, are you are you in costume? Is this a co costume? Are you like doing a? Are you like one of those uh, stripper cop guys? No, no. I just have a mustache. Good. Good. That's all it is. Someone's saying we kind of look like brothers. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of see it. I see it. Yes. Oh, that gives me an idea for a very funny uh, Prairie Home Companion. Okay, I think yes. I know where this is going. Okay. <laughs> Before we do that, I just want to say there's another billboard. Uh, okay, is now this is a new Doritos flavor, and it seems like Japanese wrestling of yes. some kind. Yes, uh, Purisu is what they call oh, okay. it. Okay, so it's... Hero. Parisu flavored Doritos. Yes. How would the, the the flavors of New Japan Pro Wrestling? Okay. Uh, that actually anyway, sounds interesting. This least. is the pitch. Okay, I'm listening. Okay, it's like an old timey ad for flapjack mix, uh, and it's two brothers flapjack mix. But then there's a very long disclaimer how it's not trying to exclude anyone. Okay. Who might be 
offended by two brothers owning a flapjack mix company because nowadays Lake Wobegon is a little bit more like Lake Wobegon. You know, I have a gun with me. I noticed you have the gun. I, I am a part-time cop. Uh, yeah, well, I figured that's that's why you did just shoot a bullet hole through my roof, but that's okay. And there's another. We don't need to. We don't need to do that. We it's got it. It's a cute it. little one. Look how tiny it is. It is very tiny. It's yeah. like if I was trying to assassinate Stuart Little. <laughs> yeah. Should does. I write Stuart Little into uh, the Prairie Home Companion? My only concern is you're gonna make Stuart Little like a men's rights guy or something. Well, he <laughs> likes it the way it used to be. Okay. When a when a little tiny rat could zoop around his convertible match car and grab other rats keisters and again i'm not like i'm not a political guy really i'm not trying to sort of dip into those waters at, unfortunately for Stuart little lake roke rat rat yeah yeah get there, get there. <laughs> the rat lake wobegon is woke too yes yeah all right there's another billboard here wow a lot on this road and wow what could this be uh, baby cake. It's baby cake. It's baby cake. Oh. Another roadside stand, and it looks like they've baked a it's baby. Limited into time. A cake. Limited yeah. time offer. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh man. So, have you gone? Uh, we had a question earlier. Have you gone on Bill Maher lately? I feel like. Have I gone on Bill yeah, Maher? I feel like he'd be all over you right yes, now. Yes, but I've only been on his podcast, Club Random. <laughs> oh wow. Have you listened to Club <laughs> Random <that> recently? <laughs> yeah, it's where he has a little bit of more long form conversations with some really provocative thinkers. Wow. And I, 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 Bill agrees that uh, it's it's less like real time with Bill Maher and more like woke time with Bill Maher. If the SJ Tubs have their way. Wow, and and Lake Random, not Lake, at all. Lake where Random is not. We're actually working on a thing where there's a version of Club Random, Bill Maher's podcast, in Lake Wobegon that everyone in Lake Wobegon loves to listen to. Okay. Club Club Random is the is that's the true name. Of that's the true name of Bill Maher's podcast. Would have thought, oh, Try Garrison! I'm <laughs> so sorry, Garrison. Oh, no. Have a good day. <laughs> Caution. Road end in 100 Oh, feet. God damn it. Ah, oh, fuck! I forgot this is the part that's a cliff. God damn it. Oh, man. I always go to this part. This sucks. And it spits you right back on the road. Immediately. <laughs> Ugh. The road just drives right up. I would have loved to hear more about what Garrison Keeler's been up to lately. I have a feeling a lot of it would have been centralized around the the pun of lake woke be gone but it was oh, you really can always listen in on the radio oh, wow whoa, 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 whoa. he yelled that from the top of the cliff incredible hot car oh we got hot car. yeah yeah hey hey oh how's it going oh it's going real good oh wow hi hey what's up um i'm headed to the hospital oh okay is everything okay uh, yeah, it's just a heart issue I've been having. Oh, God, I'm really sorry to hear that. Um, I'll try to get you there promptly. Uh, normally I drive myself, but, uh, I'm yeah. new to the city. I just moved here. Oh, okay. I Where'd love you? it. Where'd you move from? Uh, oh, it's very far away. Okay. Uh, it's a place you may or may not have heard of called Whoville. Oh, yeah, hang on. I, I want to get to that, but it looks like there's a billboard. I want to look at this. Uh, approximately one gram of weed. Oh, oh damn. Oh, nice. Another roadside stand where they're selling dub bags. That's really cool. That's great. I love weed. Yeah. Oh, is <laughs> that big in Whoville? I love weed. Uh, no, I, I, that's one of the main reasons I moved to the city. Oh, to get out of your small yeah, town. Yeah, the small town. Correct me if I'm wrong. Whoville exists inside of a small dandelion. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, I think so. That's wild. That's um, wild I kind of lived on the outskirts oh, uh, okay. with my brother. Okay, you said you said that like you have a problem with your brother. Uh, we just did not agree on many things. Okay. Uh, yeah, he did stuff like try to steal Christmas, uh, stuff like that. Is your brother, I think I've heard of him, is he the Grinch? Yeah, he's Grinch. He's I'm Grinch. Chris. Chrisinch. Chrisinch? That's my name, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, well, I had to move to the city because Whoville was just, it was so, such a small town. Yeah, yeah, it existed I, inside of a flower. Yeah. yeah, I hate small towns, but in the city, it just is alive with energy. I just go, I, I walk down the street here, and I'm just amazed by just like the feeling, the, the cultural diversity, the food smells, the, 
the uh, uh, transportation mm. options. Yeah, uh, yeah. More than mean. just a sled. Yeah. Uh, my main problem, though, is my heart. Yeah, I noticed your... Okay, so your brother had a tiny little heart. Is yours enlarged? No, I have a tiny little heart, too. Oh, okay, so it's just a genetic Runs thing. in the family. So can I ask, because your brother's thing was basically that he was like a social outcast and he hated everyone. Yeah, and I had to live with a jerk. Yeah, okay. Watch but, it, pal. Sorry, I have a guy in here. Oh, um, I see, that's just kind of the type of energy I love about the city. They just don't care. Yeah, no yeah. One, no one cares about your business. People are very mind, mind their own business here. Hang on, there's another billboard here. Look at this. Oh. Uh, you already knew Spork. Now we present the Foon. Oh, okay. So I, oh. tiny little spoons. It's so of the random. The city is so random. <laughs> yeah. I no, just walk I through the city and see. like I see the most random things sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying the city. What I was kind of gonna ask is like, so that's sort of your brother's thing. Like, do you have a thing? Do you have a passion? Do you have something that's sort? Of, oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry to not. Well, here's another little cool thing about the city. What's that? Oh. <laughs> Felt like we were really about to get it. We were really about to get it. But I guess no. Um, thanks everyone for, for everything so far. Um, uh, damn, we were really about to, I really hope. I also just realized he was on his way to the hospital and I just <laughs> blew him up out of my car. He had a heart condition and I shot him into the sky. So hopefully he's okay. Um, Hot car, please. Okay, yeah, yeah. Aww. Quick, take me to your city's power center. Well, I don't uh, have a lot of time. I don't know what a city's power center is. Do you know, <laughs> could you explain what that is? Uh, wherever you guys get your source of energy, a nuclear reactor, a coal power plant, wherever the most energy is sort of consolidated in the city. Okay, what's, what's your, who, who, what's going on? Everything okay? I need to get back to my world. Who are you? I don't have time for names. Listen. I came here from Neopia. Things yeah. got crazy when they su shut down JavaScript. <laughs> Suddenly, What's going my on? world is. Hang on, I'm so sorry. No, about this. God, no. Good luck. Wait, with I don't bet. <laughs> Whoa, so many words I didn't know there. Wonder what that was about. It's from Neopia. Is that like a Neopets thing? I have no idea. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> Oh well. That's how it goes sometimes. Hot car! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey! Uh, I got I'm so sorry about No, it like that's the kind of random stuff that just makes <laughs> living in this city so exciting. I'm glad that like, you that didn't kind take of thing it never happens in boring old Whoville. I'm so glad you didn't take it personally. Sometimes people get very upset when I eject them out of my car. No, no. I, I don't mind it at all. It gave me a chance to kind of walk through the okay. city and <laughs> Well, here's another yeah. chance. <laughs> oh! Oh, and I'm already getting... Yeah, hi. Hey, it's me, Garrison Keeler. Yeah. Garrison. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm so sorry about ejecting you out of my car. That wasn't like a... That wasn't it me. It wasn't like... the first time it's happened. Okay. Let's put it like that. Let's put it like that. I just wanted to say it wasn't because of, like, any sort of political thing. I wasn't trying to uh, be, you know... I mean, because we have the exact same politics. Well, I didn't say that. I don't... I, don't, I will yeah, say, buddy. when I was young, I thought you were a very intelligent guy. Ooh, yes. Now, I... I don't know. Anyway, uh, uh, want to talk about our cowboy characters, Dusty and Lefty? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I do want to get to that, but we're getting pulled over, um, and then we will we will talk about that garrison. Um, we'll just see what, what happens if we get. Uh, put your hands. Put your hands where I can see them. I am. I've already done that. I can't see. Oh, I'm facing the other way. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, hi, sorry, I'm on vacation. Sorry, I'm a little late. Hi! Oh, that's <laughs> cool. vacation. You don't have to stop me if you're on vacation. No, it's okay, what's up? Well, you pulled me over. Oh! Hi, Garrison Keeler! Hi, pleasure! I, I used to love your program, but I don't love it anymore. There's no reason not to. My wife says it's not funny anymore. Was I don't think wrong? it ever was. It was, it was, it was kind of like novel. Using. It was yeah. Yeah. Hey, boys, boys, I don't have a gun. You can put your hands down. I'm oh, cool. Okay. Okay. I'm vacation cop. Uh -huh. Well, a vacation cop... Uh, great to see you. Is there anything wrong? Is there any reason to, you know? 
Uh, you know when you're on vacation with your entire family and they're like hanging out with you 24 7 and you're like i gotta get the heck out of this vacation okay so pulling us over was just so you could kind of get a respite from your family yeah what are you guys doing uh i we were just about to talk about our cowboy characters dusty and lefty yeah. oh yeah hell yeah <laughs> yeah hop on just hop in okay it's yeah good. yeah okay. let's try what i thought we could do is Why beat we have two hours on this tandem bicycle sweetie where are you going <laughs> I'm gonna hear about that later. Uh, what I thought we could do is <laughs> beat out the next 30 Dusty and Lefty segments for the show. Okay. And remember, I have a new bent on it. Can you catch me and anyone else up on what exactly that is, just so we're all on the same page? Do, do people say cowboy shit? Dumb, okay. dumb cowboy aphorisms like, uh, you know, you don't gotta run, run across the street to Mm -hmm. Get some uh, sarsaparilla. Exactly. Okay. So, so stuff like that. So maybe Dusty and Lefty are running for school board, okay. and they want to take a CRT out of the history books. Oh, I don't like this one, but okay, I'll okay. go with you. So that's idea number one. We have twenty nine <laughs> more. Okay. Uh, what about one where like Dusty and Lefty are like they get like an iPhone and they're learning how to use an iPhone yeah. or something? I like that. It's it's Guy Phone. Because, Why is it guy phone? So because you, your wife can't look at it. Okay. You can't. You you, you say no. <laughs> it's the guy phone. What Can if, I just say it mm -hmm. is wonderful to watch two brilliant minds at work together. <laughs> I say three. I say three. Yeah, feel free to pitch your own. Yeah. Um, but I. I love the police. What if we did one that was sort of apolitical? One okay. that's like fun for no matter who you are, you can get behind it kind of thing. Where mm. we're not necessarily trying like to. Like Kathy. Have it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a great idea. Okay. So Dusty says, "Ack," because he got the jab, and oh, now it's really okay. messy. Hang on. I don't want to do that one. And we did just get. Okay. So there's a few things going on. I don't want to do that one. So first, I have to listen to the radio. Then I'm gonna to go to the auto shop and get a new paint job. Mm. Um, but really quick, let's go to the radio. Driver, can you hear me? Oh, shit. It's me, the guy from earlier with the blue hair. I've I'm, hacked into your car's I'm, radio I'm system. I'm sorry I ejected you. I'm part of your radio now. I'm part of the car. Listen, I need you to drive me to the nearest power station, a nuclear power plant to coal power station. I need to get back to Neopia. Just my... You just need me to drive my car? I don't understand. Are you in the car? I'm in the car. Okay. I am the car. I have to drive Garrison Keeler somewhere, and then I also have an officer of the law in the back. We're I don't gonna know. get a beer. Listen, if we don't move quickly, there's not gonna that's be a beer. Garrison Keeler. You've got, you've got about an hour to get me to the nearest power station. Okay, I do have to do a couple other trips. I also have to go to the uh, paint shop and get a new uh, outside of my car, and then I do. I'm running low on gas, but quickly, the okay. Mirkas and Grundos are counting on us. Okay, one second. Sorry, Garrison. Ah! <laughs> Am I okay? You're okay. <laughs> you want to... Actually, you know what? I'm actually going to go... Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go uh, to the auto shop now, and, and I'm going to get a new paint job. But we did, we did for a second time, eject Garrison Keeler. I don't think he's a good guy. Doesn't seem like a good guy, no. Um, but, yeah. Let's go get that paint job, huh? Way, way. <laughs> Caution. Road end in 100 feet. How's it going? 
I'm Sling Blade. I'll be painting your car today. You got these five color palettes to pick from. No, you can't put Sling Blade on the car. I don't go on the car. You can do Big Chungus on the top. You got a Sad Pepe in the top left corner. You should click on the win on the color you want, not me. <laughs> you can't put Sling Blade on the car. Check out the Lambo on the side here. Yep, that's my weekend car. <laughs> I take that to round one with all my hinge dates. You can also do the leopard print. Meat car. I like meat car. There should be a french fry car. It's looking like Big Chungus. It looks big like chungus. you're getting the Big Chungus. Let me just do the gosh conformal thing here. Mm-hmm. That's a Big Chungus car, all right. Sling Blade done programmed that one. Chungus car now. Isn't that fun? Hot car! Oh, I've already got another one. Hot car! Hot car! Yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> oh, hey! Hey, it's, it's me you again. Chris Inch again. I'm so sorry for ejecting you twice. No, I it's, I'm sorry. No, no, it's totally fine. Uh, I was able to just kind of roll my way to the hospital. Oh, okay. What's what's the latest on the heart? They gave me a new heart. Oh, it's and right here. They just sent you home with it. Yeah, and they. Uh, I kind of have a unique anatomy. Okay. As a who are, and I would love to hear about that. Yeah. Oh my God! <laughs> Poor Caution. guy. Road He's end just new in, in the city feet. and having a good time. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> ah, this town sucks. <sighs> just right back on the road every time. All right. Well, that poor guy is just trying to enjoy a new place, and I keep shooting him into the sky. Well, I'm running really low on gas, so I'm gonna take Big Chungus here to uh, the gas station and fill up, and we can watch some gas station TV and see what uh, products they're advertising. I know we've already seen so many products on billboards, but let's watch some commercials. And if you haven't yet, join the Discord and submit images in the submissions channel on the Discord, and you might see them on a billboard or a gas station TV, who knows? So hop in the Discord. Uh, and I'll see y'all shortly. Uh, so, 
just gonna get some gas and let's see what's on let's see what's on the TV. They're always advertising cool stuff here. Ad loading. Some of these gas stations are a little run down, but you give them a sec. Ah, I'm Doug Mudd. Some of you guys might recognize me from my television program, Doug Mudd Getting Muddy. Well, now I'm here doing good time advertisements for all the best products. Now this next product, this one I use every day in my personal life. My wife, my kids, hey, could you not step in front of the advertisement while I'm doing it? Sorry. Like I was saying, I use this product every day, and not just me, my wife, my kid, heck, even the dog use this product. Let's have a look. It's Golden Lego Brick. Oh man, I love Golden Lego Brick. Sometimes when you're building with a big Lego set, you're like, oh, these, these colors are all boring. Well, not anymore. With this big ass Golden Lego Brick, you can show your stupid neighbor Hey man, I made something to myself. I'm not just some schmuck who only got little plastic red and blue Lego. Now I got big ass gold Lego. What do you got? Probably nothing. Probably not even normal Legos, you idiot. Anyway folks, if you want to look good in front of your neighbor, go ahead and buy a big ass gold Lego brick. Or my name ain't, uh, Doug, Doug Mudd. Thank you. Goodbye. God bless. Always freaks me out when they talk to me. I always forget that they can see me. Huh. I personally don't want a gold Lego brick, but to each their own. Alright, what else is what else are they selling? And yeah, if anyone wants a snack, let me know, I'll grab something. Oh hey man! My name's Spliff. And I Man, I don't even know what the heck I'm even doing up here. <laughs> I'm like, they said get in front of the camera, and I said, wait, what? I thought we were just get here for the snacks and the treats. Uh, but what I do know is there's this very cool thing that uh, has been presented to me just before I walked into the place, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. You want to know what that thing is? Do you really want to know what that is? It's, oh, uh, it is a dinosaur with chips and guacamole in it. The, the chips make the Stegosaurus plate. <laughs> and, and it looks like the Stegosaurus is eating the salsa and guacamole. I mean, this is one of those inventions that I was like, wait, there's not one of these already? <laughs> Yes, there is one, and you can buy it. Uh, it, it comes with a question. Is it capitalism is, oh, capitalism is bad? <laughs> question mark? <laughs> so you, all you gotta do is call up any number, 1-800, <laughs> and say, I saw the Stegosaurus. Uh, chips as the plates. Uh, describe the Stegosaurus as uh, a chip bowl but the chips are the Stegosaurus plates. Next time you are, have a fiending for some chips and salsa. My name's Split. <laughs> Bye. Surely you can't call any number. <laughs> any number? I don't know. Anyway, I got a Snickers protein bar. It's disgusting. It's really gross. It's basically just a Snickers bar with whey in it. Really gross. Hi, it's me, Granny from Looney Tunes. I'm the lovely pet mother who hits my cat when it's being naughty to my my mouse bird, bird, Tweety, I own a bird. Anyway, now I'm doing advertisements. Okay, let's see what that advertisement is. Okay. Oh, oh it's Come On Me, God by Daniel Lippentit. When my cat's being naughty to my bird, Sylvester and Tweety, I read them this book until one of them dies. That's right. One of them dies every, every time I read this book. How about that? How about that, folks? So come check out Read This Book. I'm Granny from Looney Tunes. Bye!
one of them dies? My leg! That's not on me. I'm parked. Look at my new tattoo! Oh. Okay, nice. Did you notice Granny was just a floating head? Did anyone catch that? Thank you very much. Hello! I'm a little prince. I'm from a country that was based on the book The Princess Diaries. I'm here to tell you about my favorite things capitalism has to offer, including, but not limited to, triangles, squares, circles, money, burgers, um, being a little prince, kings, queens, cribbage, poker, and, I'll keep going, bow ties, and rest in peace, Princess <laughs> Diana t-shirt, starring Owen Wilson. In a beautiful gold frame, this one-of-a-kind vintage t-shirt was printed by me, by hand, by these hands. Hands, 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 hands. <laughs> and it goes very well with big boobs, small boobs, no boobs, and it keeps your belly in tight. And Owen Wilson just sits there on your chest. And so when you're in bed, eating your Thai food out of your little grubby little hands, 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 you just say, hi, Owen Wilson, hi, Owen Wilson, hi, Owen Wilson, and he lulls you into a deep sleep, and you sleep for eight years. So buy my shirt. It's actually the first product I've been like, <laughs> I'd actually, that'd be cool. That's a, actually like a really cool shirt. Ah, oh, princess die. Oh, too soon, you know? Gone too soon. Anyway, did anyone want anything from the inside? I just got this disgusting Snickers protein bar. Really recommend against it. It was also $4, which is very depressing. Oh, we got another one. Hi, I'm, I'm Concussed Russ from your favorite... Hi, I'm Concussed Russ from your favorite MTV show. And the only MTV show out anymore, rid Ridiculousness. What's it called again? The Rock Deer Deck show I'm on? Ridiculousness. Um, are you hungry? I sure am. Finally, the secret little snack that you get in a bag of Jack Links, there's an entire bag full of them. Oops, it's all moisture packets. Keep that mouth wet, dude. And you can eat a bunch of those all in a row. And there's it's no more of that snack. no more of that pesky beef flavor on them. Now it's just pure chemical. And take it from me, you'll end up in the hospital. Like me. Wait, why would I want that? Concussed Russ. See you in the emergency room. Moisture pack is described as the secret snack. I didn't realize that. That it's supposed to, uh, you're supposed to have it. Um, silica these Oh. Car. Hey, welcome. Hi. Hi. We're the couple from American Gothic. Oh, wow. <laughs> We need Celebrity. to go back to our home, okay. our farm. This is awesome. I've never... Uh, actually, I've had celebrities in here. I just had Garrison Keillor in here, but he's kind of I don't know who that is. I'm from a painting. Okay, cool. We're from a painting. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's super cool. Um, You're a little bit too chipper for my taste. Sorry, is that, are you... Could you be as stoic as we are? Yeah, usually I'm much more Think about stoic. the dog your grandma never let you have. Okay. Forever. I didn't, I didn't grow up with my We need to get back to the farm because I'm having a medically assisted suicide today. Oh, okay. Okay. And I'm helping. It was his idea. And okay. I agreed. Not in a messed up way, in a very supportive and loving way. All right. She's very depressed. Yes. Okay. And I... also terminal. <laughs> yeah, terminal depression. Okay. I'm trying to just match your vibe. I have to go back because I forgot to check on the corn. I can't believe I... I think I left the corn on. You well, the corn he on. checks the corn. <laughs> I will be having a lot of chemicals pumped into my arm until I die. Okay. We're having a party for us if you want to come. 
Uh, I'm in the middle of my shift and I have to get my radio to the power source in town. Not radio. Oh, speaking. I mean, not radio. That, that review. Uh, I gotta just read my reviews while driving really of quick. Of course. Sorry. Smells like popcorn, both in the car and the driver. Mm. Mm. That's a compliment. Mm. What do you think about medical assisted suicide? I'll oh, maybe I can do it a little earlier. Well, let's not do that in my car. Mm. Um, I will get to that, but we're getting pulled over by I a I don't cop. want that cleanup fee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call, Connie. Stay pulled over. We are. We're pulled over. Should um, I put my weapon away? It, would, do you constitute that as a weapon? Isn't it that sure is. Weird? Okay. What do you think we use that for? I thought for the A couple corn. things, actually. Foreplay. Yes. Oh, okay. Anti-play. Mm. Five play. Mm. <laughs> I'm... There's so much to take in here, but let's just let's just. Am talk I the first painting you've met? Me and my husband, that is. Thank you, babe. I believe so. Are I'm you still trying to think. Over? Yeah, yeah. License and registration. And gun please. immediately out. Good. Okay. Gun. 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 Right here. That right here. No, no, no. Please don't. License and registration. Okay. You know why I pulled you over? I don't. What's up? Are you, are you sure about that? I am sure. You must have an inkling of why I pulled you over. Do you not know why you I wouldn't have over? accidentally pressed the button on my car to pull you over. You seem a little unsure. Did you get the jab recently? No, 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 no. Please, please. American I think he did. They'd kill me if I did. Um, no. Uh, did you, like, were you, were you really fast? I don't think so. We t I tend to go one speed. Is it because I have a large pitchfork hidden underneath the back seat? Is that illegal? No, it's, it's farm not. country. Dang. What did, you must do something wrong. Uh, I don't. I don't think I did anything Are you wrong, white? officer. Y yes, but I don't think. Uh, don't. You're passing. Don't You're offer passing. it to them. You're passing. Please. It's fine. Damn it! Can you just do something wrong real quick? If if it can just result in like a warning or something, yeah, I can. Do, I just don't want to get. Maybe a ticket. you can give him a click it ticket. A click. Oh yeah. None of you got seatbelts on. Nice yeah. job. Hey, okay. aren't you from that painting? Yes. Thank so you. So cool. What about me? That's my husband. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Well, mm. yeah. Ah, I see it now. I see it now. That's so cool. Do you get celebrities in your car all the time? I had Garrison Keillor in here earlier, and I had the Grinch's brother. I don't know if he's a celebrity. I know the Grinch's brother. Yeah. He's having a rough day. Got he's a little freak. Yeah. Well, uh, here's your tickets. I also had a TikTok star in here. It's going to be $3,000 per unbuckled seatbelt. Okay. So, uh, That's on us. We don't have seatbelts in paintings. Yes. Yeah. Uh, drive Never safe. All right. That was a successful police thing. Such a cutie. So medically assisted suicide. What are your thoughts? Uh, you, you know, know. I'd rather talk about my corn. Oh, okay, honey. <laughs> I don't get to talk to anyone besides my wife or my lettuce. That, that's fair, friends. honey. After all, you'll be the one that's alive after today, so you'll have all the conversations you can have. Do you think that there'll be corn communities for me to join after my wife passes? What would you call, what is a corn community? What dance, would you say that is? Dance corn, bridge corn. And you're, I notice you're just, you're saying activities and then just adding corn. And, and on the, corn. the other side, so not even like Tennis corn core. dance, it's like dance corn, corn, which I feel like in terms Tap of syntax, that implies it's like, Grammar corn. it's corn that dances, you know, like syntax wise, that. that's what I'm feeling like it, but I don't know. I might be going from American Gothic to American pretty Caution. Gothic. Road end Hang on, sorry, I have to drive feet. off a cliff really quick. <laughs> Ah! Right back to the top of the phone. Okay. Oh, God damn it. Oh. Fuck. Ah! It takes. Ah! Clip it just. Ah! These. So ah! tired of this. God damn it. And then it just puts you right back on the road every time. Ugh. That's good suspension. Yeah, yeah. I gotta get this thing to the shop quite often. Um, anyway, know, I don't know anything about all those corn-related activities you were discussing, but I'm sure there's stuff. Um, no, Caution. It's okay. Road end in 100 this feet. Is the, this is the cliff that leads right into the other cliff. I... Oh, oh, fucking <laughs> Christ, I'm so... Smaller no. cliff that time. 
It's a rush. Yeah. Honey, are you having second thoughts? That was kind of like... It was a little bit intense, but for me, it just reminds me how sad my life is when I'm not plunging to my death. Okay. You know, I have an observation, kind of a social observation. Uh-huh. I love when uh. she does this. <laughs> We are from the painting American Gothic. Yeah. But recently it seems. Caution. Road Part of town, there's tons everywhere. God damn it. So long like this one. There's, one. A... there's so long. There's... I feel oh, like we're getting. The more you fall, the more it feels like you're getting higher up. All right, so you're saying <laughs> we're from the painting American Gothic, <laughs> but recently it seems like America's got sick due to the jab. Okay, I'm gonna just the there's a billboard. I have to just look at this billboard really quick. Oh, uh, a roast beef Furby sandwich. What what am I seeing here? Roast fur beef. Roast fur beef. Right. Another roadside stand selling roast fur beef. Uh, that looks great. I think I'd like to have that before I have my suicide. Okay. Well, we can drop you off up there. Um, honey, is that okay? Yes, honey. Anything you want. So, <laughs> look, Caution. I know you guys are from Road Milan. end in 100 feet. I wanted to get to this, but maybe we turn the price up on that. Ah, I hope this is doing something for you, at least like adrenaline-wise, giving you something to kind of hang on to. No, I told you, when I'm not doing this, it makes me want to die. Oh, right, that's right. Oh, oh god damn it. We are really going, we are really are we just, flying? yeah, it feels like we've sort of just steadied into in the sky and we're just kind of Do you want to know something funny about us in another painting? Okay. You know whiskey. Oh, sorry, say that again. Do you I know, know Whistler's mother? Whistler's mother. I don't, but I can Google we it. We had a threesome with her. Okay. It was great. I mostly hung out with the grass. Okay. Kind of watched. Rolled around naked. You guys ever met Scream? Oh, no, uh, it's very elusive. Mm. Very elusive. Mona Lisa? Oh, she's a bitch. Really? She Smile more, there. sweetie. I know I'm not supposed to say that, but <laughs> it's true. She started that whole trip. She's yeah. the one that was like, and I smiling. And we're like, oh, oh, no one cares. Duck face. Why does she always duck face? Is, I've never really thought of the Mona Lisa <laughs> as duck facing, but. Mm -hmm. I like um, to hang out with the girls and all those. Uh-oh. I forgot his name. It was that guy that paints a lot of girls alone. He's my favorite painter. Girls do, do, of. Do, 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 do. He's kind of surrealism guy. There was a. Don't worry Pablo about Picasso? It. Nah, those uh, girls are freaky. Who yeah. knows? Anyway, I'm getting something on the radio. It looks like Morse code jazz. Did I get that right? Ooh, soothing. Ooh, yeah, okay. so maybe this will be nice. Welcome back to WK Jazz 103.5, the jazz. We got the newest jam session from Philomenus Monk coming out right now, done entirely in Morse code. Let's go ahead and give it a spin. Is that illegal in jazz? Okay, we're gonna have to bleep that. <laughs> well, I have to apologize for everyone for what you just heard. I'm gonna go to church. Wow, I couldn't tell it was review. inappropriate about that. We have a review, and also we're getting a lot of people who think they know what artist you were talking about in the chat. I figured so. it out as well. Okay, we'll get mm -hmm. to that in a sec. I just got to read my reviews while driving. Uh, driver wore shorts, and I was scared by his knees, but big chungus car pog, so five out <laughs> 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 Tough to argue with that. Um, did you so you figured out who it was? I was thinking of Edward Hopper. Ah, Ed Hopper. Yes. Lots of ladies alone, just waiting for someone to come and tell them their story. Little thing Hopper. about Ed Hopper, I gave him some head Hopper. Okay. I also had sex with Peter Max's painting of the 
Statue of Liberty. So I noticed Ed Hopper's not a painting. He's a person. So you stepped outside the, the painting world. Painting? Yeah, I was like, aha, take on me. <laughs> I, I stepped off and gave him a uh, head. Okay, that's awesome. That's the music cool. video for Take On Me is someone Caution. gets out a painting and gives someone Road a head. The first part, yeah. Keep talking. Oh. We just jumped right. I felt like we were frozen in time, and then we landed at the bottom. You know, I have to admit, I think I went to live. I'm having a good time. Oh, okay. I'm glad I could turn things around for you. I think we have something else on the radio too, so maybe this will also, you know, just kind of add to the add to the fun. Hello, everyone. My name is Chandelier Puss. I am a fellow single mother stripper and. We're putting out the equivalent of an audible Craigslist ad looking for stoic painting figures and men with mustaches uh, for a no hold barred conv convivial orgy. So uh, anyone fitting those descriptions, again, that is stoic painting characters and men with mustaches. Please do call any number and you'll be able to reach us to join this orgy um, you'll get the address, and you would honestly really make our day more so than the money that we make doing stripping because we also have good stock tips. So please reach out. Again, any number. Can't be any number. Well, who would that apply to? So yeah. specific. I don't know. But I'm glad they took out that ad. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that works out for them. Narrow casting. Yeah, yeah. That's the new thing, though, right? It's all like micro targeting and stuff. I don't know if you guys know much about that since you're a painting. Um, excuse me? Just you, you, I mean, did you hear that? You seem to be kind of old-fashioned. No, I don't mean just a painting. Just a painting. I, I didn't say just, Have I'm sorry. Have you ever been hung yeah. in a no, gallery? I'm sorry, yeah. there's another cliff right My I, want, I want you to say that galleries. again. I want you to say that I'm again. My husband's hung in a gallery. Okay, yeah, I'm glad baby. we got that. Yeah, go oh, on. God, and we're still just falling through the You know, air. no one's complimented my cute little dimples yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, you know, now I was, nowadays I'm trying to learn to not like it's comment on It's the customary job of the hot car driver to compliment ladies with their cute little dimples. You know, I was just kind of told that you're not supposed to like talk about people's physical appearance. By whom? Kind of, just like general decor. Someone who lives in Lake Woke Be Gone? No. <laughs> okay, Dri driven so. woke because they've gone the jab? Is that what you're talking Have about? Have you been listening to Garrison Keillor's new thing? A little bit. Sorry, I just jumped off the cliff. Oh, that's fine. Um... Did you listen to him on Club Random, the new Bill Maher thing? Yes, that's what made me want to kill myself. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, that <laughs> checks out. I have to say, if you told me there's a project called Club Random, and you said, guess what it is, the millionth thing I would guess is Bill Maher's podcast. Really? <laughs> you yeah, yeah, can you name all 999,999 <laughs> yeah, well, well, other things? The first thing I would think is it's like, you know, some kind of TikTok thing where it's like two famous TikTokers doing like a like a like a meetup thing that they record or something. That's one. The next thing I would think we is have probably nine hundred and ninety nine thousand yeah. nine hundred and ninety eight to go. Thank you, honey. Be sure to mention the number. The next better. thing I would think is maybe it's like a Doja Cat album or something. Mm. Um, the next thing I would think is it's like. Um, Something along the lines of like a club penguin, but targeted to like Caution. people in their twenties. Road end in one hundred feet. The, the next thing I would think probably is like I'm just the image of the duck face is coming to me right away when I think, I think about five. it. It might be six. I'm not sure. Um, and the next thing I would think is probably uh, club random. Club random. Um, Maybe like a club sandwich, but you never know what's going to be on it. Yes, that could be it. Oh, we're getting pulled oh, over by the cops in the, the sky. And we have somehow got okay. back to the top of the fucking cliff. I'm nervous about the sky cop. Yeah, the sky cop. They, they get... And when I drive off the cliffs, they get pretty upset about we it, but it's like... We have an officer parachuting in. Okay, okay. I'll put my Ooh. hands up, but I do need to land the car. Yeah, we'll see about that, sir. So Very high up. In the air. So high up on the thing. I feel like so. I'm in the Jetsons. Yeah, it does kind of feel My like My leg! That. Hi! 
Hey. I don't think you need the space helmet. We're like 20 <laughs> feet off the ground. No, I jumped, I jumped from outer space to uh, pull you guys over. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank uh, you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> this hey, is a listen, good thing, yes? Uh, you're going way too fast. This uh, area of the sky is actually uh, 126. You guys are going, I clocked you at 256. Well, oh. officer, I don't know if you're familiar with like laws of physics and inertia, but I'm in a free fall state right now. I can't control. Hey, listen, the laws of law, man. Man, I don't want to, I can't make any excuses for you, so uh, you're going to be written up, okay? Okay, that's what, fair. What's your last name? Uh, Alexandropolis. Okay, how do you spell that? A-L-E-X-A-N-O-P-O-L-I-S. It's okay, actually O-L-O-U. Otherwise, that was really good. Really, really great. Did he leave us? I think he left us. Yeah, I think he... he I think he turned. He got one of those squirrel suit things and like, so cool. yeah, really cool. and That's started cool. kind of As gliding away. As a painting, I'm away. not allowed to skyfall. As a painting, you're not allowed to skyfall. You're saying, yeah. No, I can't, can't. Too much insurance policy. We're also not allowed to see the film Skyfall. Mm. <laughs> Is that like a woke mob thing? No, they just think we won't enjoy it. Oh, okay. Okay, man. It's very cool to meet a couple people from painting. I didn't mean to say just a painting earlier. I wasn't. Hey, no, it's okay. You're just a hot car. Well, I'm a hot car driver. What do you yeah. do when you're not driving hot cars? So the thing about me, um, I don't know if you've ever seen the show Taxi, but yeah, it's got. Uh, okay, a let's see. Little here. girl wears heels and gets hit on. No, I don't know what you you're got. You got Tony Danza. About. You have Christopher Lloyd. You have Danny DeVito. Judd Hirsch. You have Judd Hirsch. So I'm like Judd Hirsch, where okay. I don't have another Carol thing. Kane. Carol Kane okay. shows up towards yeah. the end. And you're surrounded by Andy dumb Kaufman. people, because everyone on a Taxi, they're first like, Dan's is the dumb one. And then like, Christopher what if we Lloyd's add, what if we had Red Ren Jim? Yes. Uh, Mary Lou Henner. That Mary Lou Henner, also, was she dumb? No, she no. was just like a single mother trying to make ends meet kind of thing. And Jodie Foster, that's what I was talking about. Okay, you were talking about Taxi Driver. Hi. Right. Also okay. the guy from Greece. The guy with the blonde Jeff hair from Conway. Greece. Jeff Conway. Yes. Rest in peace. And then there is that one guy who was in the first season, but then they got rid of him because he was kind of boring yeah, and didn't really have anything to do. Yeah, there was never any character to him. They never figured him out. Replaced him with Christopher Lloyd, which was a great call. Are you okay? I'm you good. Okay. okay, you don't have to run next. Do you want to get in the car? I'm this in the, the marathon. I'm going to be, I'm gonna be doing the marathon. Okay. That's the fastest person I've ever seen. Yeah, that guy was really booking it. Um, anyway, yeah, so I don't have another thing. So Fun I'm... fact about Taxi, I went to college with Tony Danza's daughter. That's oh, really? True. Yeah. Was she cool? I didn't know until graduation where, and the reception, oh, look, there's Tony Danza. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I, I had that with a couple different celebrity relatives at my college, and I would just find out later and be like, okay. And to be clear, I'm talking about me, the, the lady person from, inside. Yes, yeah, yeah. where'd you go to college? Oh, um, I went Road to the University of the Big feet. Farm. Oh. Yeah. oh God! So, at a certain point, the the fear kind of subsides because you know where it's going. Yeah. Ooh, beautiful day. Beautiful day it for a fall. It is a beautiful day. Beautiful day for a fall. Yeah. Beautiful fall day. Beautiful fall day. I can day. see our fire yeah. from here. No, oh, we're getting close. That's great. Uh, well, what are we doing instead of the thing we were gonna do tonight, honey? Yeah, instead well, of your assisted suicide. I think we still can still make your corn. Oh yeah, you got it. The corn was. I really on, would have right? to check up my corn. Yeah. Yes, because you have to turn the corn off. Was I want right? to see if it's off or on, and then I'll decide what to do. All right. Okay. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Very nice. To I want to live. Life. I'm glad I saved you. I guess. Jesus. Christ. I just want you to acknowledge that you ran my leg over earlier. I'm sorry about that. When I'm, I was running by you. When I'm talking to uh, passengers, I sort of get tunnel vision, and uh -huh. I I can tend to run people's legs over. It's I'm sorry about. Yeah. That. Okay. You're lucky that you like the show Taxi as much as I do. Okay. It's a great show. Very heartfelt. It's funny, but there's also moments of real, uh, like heartfelt. Uh, it's great. It's the best show ever, in my opinion. Really hot love car. it. Oh, we got another hot car.
What was that? Oh. Like it sounded like Alvin and the Chipmunks doing the Star Wars theme. <laughs> what was <Alvin>. that? <laughs> That's exactly what it was. Wow, are you Darth Vader? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I found this at a Halloween town. There's so many of them in the city. Watch I love oh, them. Never mind. I love the city. I'm so glad you're having a good time. Again, I'm so sorry for thrice ejecting you from my car. You I'm know what I've always thought? When what? I'm walking through the city, I I was looking at the trash cans. I'm like, they look like R2-D2. <laughs> yeah, I guess <laughs> These trash true. cans look like R2-D2. <laughs> that's such a good point, and I'm so sorry for this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, and a great point from Scholar for Christ must have launched him right into a party city. That's probably what happened. But I'm glad that guy's having a great day. And sometimes you get people who are so caught up in the minutia of their day-to-day -day life. That's a guy who sees the forest through the trees. He's having a great day. Ah, uh, man. A uh, uh, hot, hot car. We got another hot car. Hopefully I don't eject this one, because I don't get the money when I eject them, so... Hi. Uh, I need your... You okay? I, I need to go to the White House. Okay. Take me to the White House. So this is a common problem we get. The White House is a restaurant in this town. It's not the <laughs> president's home. Uh, wherever, the, uh, wherever the president lives. <clears throat> okay. I need to be taken there. You, you gotta okay? help me. Is everything oh. okay? Is everything okay? The rat. Are you the guy? I'm fine. Wow. I'm fine. No, nothing. Look, you nothing's look, wrong. I, you look exactly <laughs> like him. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> look. You're the guy. I'm look, fine. I'm getting that we look like brothers. I just... <laughs> I see it. You're the guy from Ratatouille. I don't know what you're... I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I just need to be taken... You gotta help me the fucking... I gotta be taken to the... Uh, whoever leads the country right now. I gotta talk to him. There's, are you seeing like a sniper uh, on your? Please help me, the fucking. Uh. Okay, okay. Everything is fine. Just drive. Okay. It's just us two humans here riding along to the leader of the country's house. Does uh. the does the rat want you to kill the president? Look, man, I don't know what he's gonna do when we get there. He just said that I had kill the president. What are you talking about? I just want to cook him a delicious meal. Ha ha ha! Yeah, no, ha, 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 we'll just drive to the White ha, House ha, ha, then. Ha, ha, ha. Great. Here, I can help. I can help. Okay, please. You got. He says that if you take the hat on, he'll kill me. If I take the hat on? No, if you take the hat. Nothing. What? <laughs> I'm just playing around, man. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm just joking. He says that he's got a gun under the hat. And if I, it's if gotta I take be a it tiny on, gun, right? It can't kill you. Look, man, I'm too afraid to. <laughs> gun? Yeah, you're right. What, a rat with a tiny gun? That's ridiculous. And someone saying more like Ratatouille woke, I guess. I don't know if that one quite. I don't know if that one quite works, but okay. It's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, we'll do. Ex okay, there's a sniper. Did you hire the sniper to shoot the rat? I yes, I, I hired. I tried. I tried to hire like a hit. <laughs> H i t m a n. Okay, the rat can't spell. The rat can't. <laughs> Okay. What rat? What are you talking about? I'm just normal human man who's here to go to the White House or the place where the leader lives to cook him a delicious meal. The rat can't spell. Okay. I'll H E L P U. Um, I'm just looking up something. One second. Please, one hurry. second. One second. I'm just looking up something. One second. Do you like music? I love music. <laughs> Great. I do too. One of my favorite is this is song. Watch it, pal. Your name's Linguini? Oh yeah, it's Linguini from Ratatouille. It's Linguini. Linguini yeah. All right, that's what I had to look up. Anyway, I'll H E L P U, okay? Right, perfect. Let's K I L L this R A T. Agreed. Okay? Ha 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 ha. Very funny joke, friend. Yeah. I have a joke for you too, knock knock. Okay. Uh, <laughs> who's there? <laughs> Great. Let's keep driving. You gotta get this thing off of my head quickly. Okay. I don't know how much longer I can do this. Okay. Where do I, where do I P U T it, after I've 
I don't care. Just maybe try to throw it out there. <laughs> Great joke, friend. Let's do another. Okay. Do I have to do it? Okay, great. Um, Just do what he says. Tell okay. a joke or something. Okay. Uh, knock, knock. What? It's like a knock. Okay. 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 <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. You're okay. You're okay. <laughs> You're okay. You're okay. Listen, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, they're still going for your No! No! Please! Here, it's here! It's here! Get it out of here! It's, I, okay, do I just chuck it? Give me that! You son of a fucking bitch! You ruined my goddamn life! Well, now I'm gonna ruin yours, okay? Don't torture it. Okay. Do you know how long I've had this thing on my fucking head? Well, now. 2007? Yes, it's yeah. 2007. Listen, I'm gonna take you home. I don't think you should. Do I'm that. gonna make rat soup. You're inviting it to to gain the upper hand on you again. When you prolong this, you're inviting it to get back on your head and yank you by your hair. You, there's no way that's gonna happen. You really think that I'm gonna let the rat get back on my head after seven years under its control? Please, way more I'm than chef. seven, but okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Can you take me home? Yeah. Great. I'll just keep going down this That's road. Perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna update my thing. Hold on, let me get my phone. Hold on, I just gotta. No, 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 no. no. Oh, oh, oh. This is what I was talking about. See? So now we have this problem again, and I'm sure now he's mad at me. What problem? <sighs> Fuck. I d I tried to. I forgot. I just I I reached down to get my phone. Yeah, and then you put the thing on your head. I didn't know where to, I didn't know where else he to didn't put even, it. He didn't even trick you. <laughs> Can you hit me with your car? What? <laughs> no, I don't want to. Just do it. I'll be fine. What is he? He's going to try to get me to get you to run me over. Driver, pull over now. Listen, tell this cop what's going on. The Great. cops in this town are generally pretty incompetent, but they might be able to help you. That's right. Stay pulled over. Yes, officer. We're cooking us something up. Yeah, I understand, officer. And just to let... Anyone in this car know, I will not run over any passenger I have in the car. There's no scenario where I will agree to that. Hey, isn't that that chef? Yeah, it's Linguini. Linguini? Linguini? Linguini. Yeah, from that Pixar movie. Yep. Coco. Nope. <laughs> uh, You're from a movie. I just had people wait, from a painting wait, in my wait, car. Wait, I think I know which one it is. It's that new one, Elemental. No, I've never even heard of that. I don't it's think like anyone's heard of that. But for elements. Wow. So there's like hundred over a hundred of them? No, it's like water, fire. Yeah, yeah. Water and fire don't get oh. along, but then there's water and a fire. You know, they're they're mailing it in. They're that sounds fucking terrible. <laughs> that sounds, sounds like a parody of a, <laughs> yeah. a Pixar movie. Yeah, that sounds like if like someone was making fun of Pixar. What if nature was racism, actually? All right. Okay, we're sending a guy in now. Everyone, be cool. I looked it up. Pixar hasn't made money on a movie in like seven or eight years. I heard someone hit an illegal rat in Fine. the... <laughs> Fine. An illegal hey, rat in this, in this uh, car. I We're know fine. you. Oh, hey there. Hey, man. Well, it's how... me, Chris, Officer Chris. How'd you become a cop? Oh, uh, a, a long story, but basically, eventually, I bottomed out. <laughs> and I had nothing left. But that's the city for you. Yeah, that's So what happened. That's... I just kind of decided to do what all... People desperate for power do. They sign up for the police force. That checks out. And now I'm no longer uh, angry at my brother. I love my brother. Ah! That's not and I'm just it's like not him. Me. It's a phone. Oh, okay, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's Look gone. out. We're cool. We're cool. Yeah. Let me Where try to go? To grab the cop's gun. Huh? Where'd it go? It, try, it made me try to grab the cop's gun. It was going to try to make gone. me kill him. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I don't want anyone to thank me. I'm no longer... Christened. Oh no, you've become like your brother? I'm a lot like my brother now, oh, okay. who was the original cop. Was he a cop? Yeah, he was a real bad cop because he tried to take the joy away from children, just like the cops. I guess. Sounds like I'll, the, I'll meet you halfway on that. Sure, yeah. So now my heart is cold and stone icy, and I have no use for this 
old thing that the doctors gave me. Oh, right. You've oh. just been holding yeah, it hard. I don't have Someone use for a real, a real big heart anymore. So you guys better watch it. I don't see this illegal rat anywhere, but I'm watching you, and Please. I'm not going to enjoy if any. If you find it, Please kill it. Please kill the rat if you find Listen, it. Listen, right. I have an idea. It's very you dangerous. You two switch seats, okay? Okay. Okay, I don't know where this is headed, but... <laughs> <laughs> what all I wanted to say is that now that I am a cop, uh -huh. I got one thing to say to okay. everyone who might be listening on that hot car app. <laughs> There's actually a guy inside my radio right now. He's. I need to get to a power source. It's too much to explain. Eh, with my new cop powers, I plan to steal Christmas. Oh, shit. Aww. No more Christmas or else you'll get arrested. I like Christmas. I like Christmas. Christmas is fun. That's too bad. Because now you had I uh, you had Chris Inch, the nice guy, but now it's Officer Chris Inch. Okay. And he is come for your isn't joy. It, isn't it interesting how it would be this is such a good moment for a specific thing to happen and now that we need it to happen. <laughs> no, it yeah, won't. this is exactly because I have so is. much more to say. Oh perfect. Oh, <laughs> Hey, there's a really cute rat over here. Wait, oh. what are you doing? Oh. We're driving away. What are you doing? Me, 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 Is that is that Remy? <laughs> is that Remy or is that one of the it's muppets? It's the rat. Listen, I gotta finish this thing how it started. <laughs> I stopped the car. All right. Oh, is that a billboard? I haven't seen a billboard in a while. Yeah, it is. Glass pipes that look like Rick and Morty characters. And if that ain't the most ubiquitous product in town, I don't know what is. Ugh. Wild day so far. Oh, we got another one. <laughs> busy, busy. Hi. Hi. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. That's nice out today. Yeah, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Where am I taking you? Well, I don't know where you want to go, big boy. Whoa, okay, I'm... I didn't realize that that's what's going on well, here. We're, it's an app. We're on a dating app, right? No, no, sorry. This is an app for, uh, dr like, I drive you to certain places. Right, to go on a date with me. No, that's... What, so, am I not cute? No, I, I'm not saying... I'm not uh, Yeah, that's a cool shirt. That's my chest hair. Oh, that's your chest hair? <laughs> I look great. Holy you do. heck. No, 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 look. I, and I'm, I'm really not supposed to comment on the physical appearance of my passengers, but hang on. I'm getting something on the radio. Okay. One second. Driver, it's me, Hackerman. Fuck. Listen, I need to get to the power source quickly. I've hacked into your I've hacked into your medical records. What? What do you mean? I've hacked into your medical records. I know about the chlamydia. Wait. Listen. <laughs> oh You have to You have to get me to the power source quickly. I can't I can't store all of this data. Something went wrong. I have all, all the various ointments you use. I uh, it's it's corrupting my data source right now. I I can't I can't. I don't know what the power source in town is. We have a power plant. We have some oil rigs. I don't know what the specific one you're looking for. IKEA is. has a lot of outlets. IKEA has a lot of outlets. Uh, uh, There's a light bulb store in town. Uh, uh, we can get uh, uh, dysfunction. Uh, 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 sweaty palms. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, these are. Uh, I'm going through your medical records. It's corrupting my data. I'll be back. <laughs> Ackerman disappeared. I, I. How many kids do you want? What? Um. I'm not. Really like. I was thinking three, but I'm open to five. Okay, I was. I'm not super looking to get settled down right now. Me neither. We have to get to know each other first. Okay, yeah. Um, I like oranges. You like. Uh, like another fruit? Is that what you're asking? I like oranges. You like. I like mangoes. Mangoes. See, we're getting to know each other. Okay. I just have to stress, and this is nothing to do with you absolutely, as a person. Absolutely, absolutely. I am not looking to date right now. I feel like I am also not like for hire to date. I'm not like a gigolo or anything. Hey, I'm look. It's not because of you. This happens to me every single time I get into a car. Okay, well, so what I would recommend is downloading a dating app instead of a rideshare app. I have. They don't work. I have Amazon Eats. I have Uber Eats. I have. The dictionary, Merriam-Webster's dictionary app. I have Google. Who are you meeting on the dictionary app? I type in a word, who am I meeting, and it tells me what meet means. Okay, look, <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's but fine. what I would recommend is downloading one of your more standard dating apps, your Tinders, your, your 
Bumbles, your Sex Haver, that app that we started in this town. Any of those, uh, will, you'll probably do a better, you know, you'll probably have a better chance. Okay, of, I'm gonna try Duolingo. Duolingo, I don't think will will work. Um, I know that bird's got some eyes on him. Yeah, again, I'm just trying to help you because I don't want your heart to be broken. Oh my God, so you love me too. No, I didn't say that. I didn't, um, I didn't say that. Look, I'm not trying to, uh, oh, we're getting some, some suggestions here. Yelp, Ancestry.com, Google Maps, Ancestry.com, I wouldn't crazy. do any of these. Ancestry.com is maybe good just for eliminating certain people I from the dating pool. I understand. But otherwise, I, understand. I wouldn't, I don't know. I feel like just, uh, you know, a regular old dating app, right? You can just put in your stuff and... I and like dictionary total the K. Dictionary. That sounds like it could be a dating app. Oh, might... look, a single guy. Bye! Oh, okay, and just <laughs> jumping out of my car. <laughs> Hi car, hi car, hi car. Hey, how's it going? It's fine. Got an audition? Yeah. <laughs> what are you auditioning for? Scream 7. Scream 7? Yeah. I'm gonna get murdered. Cool. Hey, paycheck's paycheck. I know. Credit's a credit, right? Yeah, I'm... I don't know, like, acting seemed like a fun thing to do, but it's just, like, so inconsistent, and... I don't know, it's just really hard. I can't tap into these, like, really primal, dark parts. Someone's saying Cream myself. 7. Cream 7, that's pretty funny. Are you referring to my uniform? Yeah, yeah, so what's up with that? I notice your milk and cheese. Yeah, I work at the Dairy Devil. Oh, you work at the Dairy Devil. So you're coming from your job to go to yeah, the audition? Yeah, yeah. Hey, they, man, they, that's the hustle. They let me go early, I know. I just... I don't know... It's embarrassing. I don't know how to scream. You don't know how to scream? In like a convincing way. Oh, yeah, it's hard to... I mean, I'm not an actor. I could never do that stuff. Yeah. Um, and it's like the only thing they really want me to do for this for this bit in the audition. But I really want it. So I'm like, I don't know. It's... I don't know how to do it. We're getting Grant is going to love this bit. Yeah. I mean, do you want to practice screaming right now? Hey, yeah, if you're okay with that. Yeah, I can I can run the lines with you. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, sure. So I'm Scream. I'm the guy. You're Scream mask guy, and I'm I'm on the phone. Okay. Hey. W what do you want? Uh, I'm I'm outside your your house right now. No uh. Yep. No uh. No no I am. No uh. I am. No. -uh. Stop. Stop doing no. -uh. No. -uh. I'm trying to scare you. No way. Stop that. Well, what are you gonna do? Stab me or something? Sorry, I'm reading a script. Yeah, I was supposed to scare you. Stop saying no. -uh. I'm trying to freak you out. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you gonna do with that? No, 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 Oh, whoa, 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 I mean, I think we, okay, we can do it. If you want to get like a new situation, yeah, sure. sure. I'm, okay, I'm arriving home from work at the Dairy Devil. And I'm home. standing there with a knife. I guess I don't okay. say anything. I'm just, I'm like, hey, you, sit okay. down. Okay, okay, okay. I'm in the scene. I can't the door. Oh, I'm, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey. Hello. S sit down. I, I, I'm robbing you. Okay. No, you're supposed to. You were supposed to be scared. I. Am, oh shit! Right. Hang Dang on. We're getting a. There's a billboard nearby. I want to take a look at this. Microplastics. Oh, finally. A taste you can trust. Just kind of get it right onto the thing, huh? And that is another roadside stand selling McCormick oh. microplastics. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Okay. Scary. Scared. Scared. Scary. Got it. Yeah. Let's try to get okay. What's a, what's a scenario where you would like really scream? You'd freak out. You'd be scared. I don't know. I don't. Life's pretty chill, honestly. I don't have anything I'm scared by. You know. Uh, 
I mean, if you're not scared of, like, someone trying to kill you, what about, like, have you ever been on a roller coaster? No, what are those? Really? Never heard of a roller coaster. It's basically, and again, every time I try to describe mundane things, I realize how difficult it is. It's essentially a little metal thing you sit in, like a little go-kart type thing, and it goes on a track, and it goes really fast and spins you around, and you go up and down, and you're getting moved very fast, and the adre you know, it pumps up your adrenaline, and you get scared because you think you might fall or something. Like the choo-choo trains? It's sort of like that, but it's going way faster. Got it. Okay. All right. All right. Let's, let, me, let me try. Imagine I'm on that. Whee! No. Yo -ho! Wow! Yeah! No. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna stop yeah. you right here. Good. Like the fact that you're screaming's good, but I was closer. It. it was closer in that you've raised your voice, but not in that. Uh, you need to like be scared. Okay. Here's five dollars. Can you eject him? What's up? He, can you You're running along the side of my car right yeah, here's now. Here's $5. Can you eject him to save the mic? Yeah, yeah, sure. I am going to pocket this. I am keeping this. Do it. Quick. Do it. What? Scream really, really loud. No. Should no. I? Just do it once. Should I? Okay. Ah! Sorry, Grant. <laughs> well, we didn't help that guy, nor get him to his audition. But I did get five dollars, so. Oh, God. Oh. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Ah, oh, I'm okay. I gotta get to an audition. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's uh, for Scream Seven. <laughs> nice. Uh, I have a. Uh, could you run sides with me while you're driving? Yes, absolutely. That'd be great. I have a really interesting role. Are you um, a victim? Or are you getting yeah, murdered? Yeah, I'm a guy who gets murdered because he's playing Bill Maher's Podcast Club Random <laughs> over a megaphone. So I, I just would really appreciate if I can just have a moment to really work on this. Okay. So, uh, you know, you can kind of, you know, I don't come in for a little bit. Okay. Um, maybe I shouldn't kill people. Maybe I've taken this too far. Maybe it's time to wait a minute. What's this? This is Bill Maher talking with uh, Doctor Phil about the vaccine. <laughs> and I'm Let's make it even louder, I think. It, yeah, it's, it's it's like 15 minutes of the of the. And my character is just like pacing around, getting yeah. mad as he hears You're this. Seeing, yeah, Ghostface is gonna like really stab me. Yeah. By the way, do you think we look like brothers? I see it. Hang on, I'm gonna listen to something on the radio. Yeah, no problem. I'll turn this down. Okay. Driver, it's me, hacker man. Fuck. I've nearly made it out of the car. I think I figured out a way. It's just... Oh, what's this? Oh, hey, little cutie. Oh, it's a little scruffy mouse. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. It's no mouse. It's a... Uh, uh, uh. I need to be taken to the leader. Where's the leader of this country? I need to be taken. I think Hacker Man got taken over by Remy. Ah. Man, poor hacker man. Yeah, he's having a tough one, although he did read my medical file out loud. Yeah, uh, you're the guy with uh, herpes? No, it was uh, chlamydia. Chlamydia. Yeah. Oh. Erectile dysfunction. And erectile balls. dysfunction. But mm. chlamydia, I believe, goes away. So we just continue on the. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, where were we? <laughs> Jump ahead a few pages. Yeah. And like Ghostface is getting real close. Yeah, to that. he's going like, "There's no nuance in this conversation." And this 
What do you think about this conversation in Scream 7? Do you like it? You know, to be honest, it's like a weird cross promo thing, mm -hmm. I think. I don't know. Well, if I, I would... wrote Scream 7, so oh, I hope you do like it. Um, it's, anyway. It's a new direction, certainly. Yeah. It's weird that they're making me audition for, for the I'm movie the you wrote. Yeah. yeah. Can I be honest with you? If sure. they're making you audition, I think they're not going to give it to oh. you. Oh. Because if. Mm. You if know, they wanted to give it to you, they probably would have just. That really it. hurts. I only got into writing so I could just kind of like nepo my way into being an actor. I feel like a lot of people. A do lot that of people these do days. that. Yeah. yeah. As if writing is just like a very easy, easy thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. It's like, well, I can't make it as an actor. I'll just be a professional screenwriter. Okay. Way simpler. And it happens. Yeah. And it happens. You know, I think uh, some people are trying to like come in. Uh, oh. Okay. Should we pull over? You caught him. You flagged him on the side of the yeah. road there. Yeah. Hi, car. Hi, car. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I think we got room. Uh, hey. Yeah. What's yeah, up? yeah. Come on in. What's up, dudes? How's it going? Hey. Hi, car. Hi, oh, car. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Come yeah. on in. Come on in. Hey, uh, you don't uh, remember me, do you? Do you? Are can I ask? Are you the guy who suddenly was in a commercial without understanding why or how he got there? That, that is true. I am a commercial actor. You might have seen one of my many works, but you might remember me for something else, I, uh, too, huh? Hmm. Nothing's coming to me right away. I, I just need to get to the airport. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to have those on. What? You don't need to have those on. Thank We're not you. by the airport. Okay. I'll take you to the airport. Sorry, sir. What were you saying? Oh, yeah. I, uh, I went to the hospital uh, recently, and... Uh, no, I have a strange anatomy, so they weren't sure what to do with me, but they did fix my nose. Are you Crinch? Cr 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 Crisinch? I'm, yeah, that's right, I'm Crisinch! <laughs> Crisinch! Yes. That's right, I stopped being a cop and I became a commercial actor. I wow. refound the joy oh, in my life. Unfair, you booked? I book all you the time. You book all the time? <laughs> oh, I must book be all nice. The time. What? You do? I you book? All the time. Oh my gosh. I, I swear I to God, this town is becoming woker than Lake Woke Begone. Okay. That's very dangerous. We do this every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So check it out. Come on back. Follow the show if you haven't yet. Also, follow all these things down below. Subscribe to the YouTube. Um, great improv and mustache, Chris. Good job. Thank you very much. Thanks Thank you. If you're new here, welcome. We do interactive improv comedy shows, like Chris said, four times a week. So if you want, to watch this show again on one of these different days, just follow the show, you'll get notifications. And if you want to get involved in some of the interactivity, join the Everything Now Show Discord. All the billboard images that you saw tonight, all the uh, products on the gas station TV, those are submitted by you, the viewers at home, and the only way to do that is by joining the Everything Now Show Discord. So go join it and follow the show. Thank, Thank you, Stanky Kong. Kong. Really Thank you so appreciate for the follow. That. Be like Stanky Kong. Follow the show. And join the, the Discord. Discord. There's a link in the chat. It couldn't be easier. Um, um, we had an incredible show tonight. It was because of our three first-time guests who all crushed it. So we want to bring them out. Come on out, Ben, Liliana, Drew. Come on out. Come on, Liliana, Drew. 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 Stand under the Everything Now Show sign. Oh wow! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. A little pose for the Instagram. Hell yeah! Perfect. Beautiful. We're gonna go here. Yeah. <laughs> Camera. You're so incredible cool. work. My wow. shirt is all uh, almost see through. Yeah, almost. a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's in that you're, like, you're like Rayman. Yeah. No, I don't have a stomach, I'm on Ozempic. Good there for it you. Is. The show there is sponsored is. by Ozempic. Nice. Uh, Especially thanks. use it if you don't have it. Yes. <laughs> Particularly if you don't. If you do, save it for the people who, who really need it. Exactly. Um, Thanks, you all crushed it. We have your plugs there, but is there anything specific you'd like to plug? Anything you want people to check out? Oh, just, oh, please check out my social media. Yeah, go to that social media, folks. 
Give them a follow. Follow these people. Give the old Everything Now show bump. Yes. Make it, make it look totally like we've exists. got a ton of pull. We got make clout. it look cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh... Liliana, anything? Oh, no, I mean, we're all being so humble, so now just check yeah. out my social media! <laughs> Give me that bump! True. Uh, yeah, uh, I've been watching this guy on TikTok who has been making uh, bigger and bigger grilled cheese sandwiches every, and it's now like up to, makes a 64 pound grilled cheese. Whoa. I don't know what his handle is, he just okay. kind of like pops into my feed. Um, but I think he's gonna make a 128 pound grilled cheese this week. Is so, he exponentially? Like, yeah, it's every time it doubles. So, oh, wow. Where did it start? It started with a regular grilled cheese. He's Makes gotta sense. go micro at a certain point. I yeah. Get the tiniest yeah. grilled cheese. That's the twist. Okay, so Follow check the out that guy who guy we don't TikTok. know their name. Uh, go find him. Find him and, uh, um, yeah, also Ben and Liliana are both on Herald Night. And they're super funny. So Mondays yeah. at UCB yeah. Franklin. Yeah. UCB yeah. Theater. You gotta so, go. So Mondays at UCB yeah. Franklin. Check it out. Drew is uh, Cardinal Redbird. Yeah. Team I'm a huge fan of. I don't know if they have, if you guys We, we been, pop up every now and again. They pop up every now and then. Best way to see when they pop up, follow Drew on his yeah. social media. Oh, I follow guess I'll do, yeah. yeah, follow everyone on my social. Uh, if you have uh, production needs in Los Angeles, I have a production services company, uh, so follow me for that if you need video or audio shit. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Do okay. it. Okay. Ooh. We're going to rate someone? Yeah. We're going to rate someone. Rating. Make sure. Oh, what are we rating? Uh, did you have somebody in mind? Oh, no. I don't know. I was just going to say, make sure to watch the Luke Man's stream tomorrow. He's doing a 12-hour oh, yes. stream. At 8 p.m. tomorrow. We're going to be part of it. We'll be on that. We'll be an hour slot on the Luke Man's stream. Yeah, the lineup includes Chris Gethard, Alan Resnick, Sarah Drill. Squirm, Drill, Cameron Farmer, friend of the show. It's going to be really fun. At 11 p.m. Yeah, Eastern fun time. Thank Sounds you like guys. a great show. It's going to be a great show. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. And so also, check it out. yeah, and then join us on Monday for an all-new episode uh, featuring David Brown, Ron Song, and someone else maybe from Jury Duty. Yeah, we're, so, we're doing an Everything Now Jury Duty James crossover Marsden. event. Yes, James yes. Marsden. <laughs> James Marsden <laughs> is going to be here. <laughs> who knows? Tune in to figure out who it is. Who yes. knows? Someone asked a quick question about the grilled cheese. It's not, he doesn't make multiple grilled cheese. It's one, one grilled cheese one. that so gets he bigger. getting big pans? He's going to a New York bakery every week to make a bigger and bigger uh, grilled cheese. That's crazy. We're gonna raid Cardboard Cowboy! Fuck yeah! Say hi to Cardboard <laughs> Tell Cowboy. Tell him we say hi. We'll, we'll see love you guys him. back here on Monday. Goodbye! See you later! Bye. I'm keeping Grant's $5 for real. This is mine now.